Warning, this is a bunch of bullshit internet drama. If you're expecting game updates, or funny videos, or anything other than bullshit internet drama, then don't watch this because that's all this is. It's just bullshit internet drama. <coughs> it's drunk bullshit internet drama, during which I own, it's still fucking bullshit internet drama. So don't watch past this fucking point unless you want to see it, you stupid fuck! <coughs> <sighs> That's right, guys. There's some fucking 17 year old fucking punk ass bitch. <sighs> Out there sending me death threats every day. This is good. Do I look scared or drunk? I think I look drunk. You bitch. Meet White Emerald 91. He's 17 years old and his interests include watching Naruto and exercise machines. All of this started from my fucking video about how to save your beer from a cigarette. Which is a good fucking thing you can do. Let me tell you something. Smoking is bad for you. And all of us can see why you curse. You dumb. And why your hair is ugly go to rehab. So I thought, wow, here's a fucking douche. Concerned about my health. That's nice. Can't write worth a fuck. But, douchey guy. Concerned about my health. So, I decided to respond to his bitch ass. Rehab is for crackheads. I don't even smoke much. You dumb is missing the verb. You need to make a video of your own for once and stop leaving dumb comments because this shit will help people who are different than you. Everyone's different, bitch. I thought it was some good advice, you know? Fucking teach that kid something that he might fucking use in his life. It was at this time that the motherfucker started sending death threats to me in my private messages. Why? I don't fucking know why he's a 17 year old kid with no fucking thing to do with himself. <coughs> Get a life and do not smoke. And you do not want to mess with a gangster bitch because I can fuck you up. So shut the hell up. And oh, do not drink at all because it is also bad for your health. Instead of worrying about my grammar, worry about your health, bitch. Well, that's a little bit fucking confusing. He cares about my health, but he's gonna fuck me up. If he wants to kill me so fucking bad, then why does he give a shit whether I smoke and drink? Stupid motherfucker. So I wrote him back. Do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up before I make a video about how lame you are. Why don't you prove how gangster your little 17 year old ass living with his parents watching Naruto really is by doing something other than writing douchey ass private fucking messages to me. Prove it, bitch. From me. You bitch. So the death threats continued. In my fucking life. Nothing like waking up to this 17 year old cunt fucking sending messages that he's gonna fucking cut me up. Anyway, let's take a look at this one. Man, shut the hell up. Do not mess with me because I am a gangster and I can mess you up. Smoking is bad for you, jackass. Even George Bush is not that stupid to realize that. <coughs> you bitch. I think he's got a role model now. George fucking Bush. The good thing is, you're on the right grammar track if you want to be like him, you stupid fuck. The next day, I got another fucking message. I can fuck you up and cut your neck up, and I will sell your neck on eBay and make a profit. I will cut up your ass, bitch. So shut the fuck up because I live in Harlem and me and my boys can blow Japan up, pussy, and Naruto is dope. Does this motherfucker realize where Naruto comes from? It comes from Japan, it's a fucking manga. It wasn't even made in English until someone translated it, you bitch. 
Reading shit like this is actually making me stupider. It might even be making you stupider. You've got this guy to thank for it. What a fucking bitch. So anyway, here's what it'd fucking look like if this dude actually did sell my neck on eBay. What the fuck? No, seriously, what the fuck? There he is. What a bitch. Bitch, I can get the entire Harlem gangsters to shoot your ass. And another thing, was Hiroshima already blown up? You bastard, I can fuck you up. I can get the whole world against your ass that sooner or later you will be begging to get shot. Join me on a journey into the imaginary world of this fucking dude. Look at what his fucking imaginary life is like. I'm sorry that I did not make this fucking drawing douchey enough to actually reflect the motherfucker. I tried really hard to draw the douchiest fucking drawing I possibly could. But it just isn't quite douchey enough to really fucking give it the flavor I was looking for. But anyway, just picture this fucking kid asking his mom if he and his fucking genius can have the money and the fucking passport paperwork to fucking come over to a country that he doesn't even understand the language of, somehow manage to find my bitch ass in it and do something. So anyway, if you get fucking death threats for some douche, it's pretty fucking easy to deal with. You just do what I'm doing right here. <coughs> Motherfucker is blocked. What a bitch. So now you've seen this fucking dude. So if you want to fucking tell him what you think of the shit that he's sending, his private messages, fucking go to his fucking channel, leave a fucking comment. You all need to know what to do. If some fucking punk ass bitch kid sends you death threats that he couldn't possibly execute if fucking God himself came down from the fucking clouds and helped him. Which he won't.